Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as it was on a Friday, we've got your month ahead, look ahead. And uh, it's going to take us pretty much through November. It's going to be a November uh, look ahead with Japanese and CFS V2 models. Going to be a really busy day at Gals Web. It's today, coming up later on. We're going to have a week 10 day video update with all of the usual features. Terry Scully's November forecast will be released um, probably around 5 o'clock, something like that this evening. And then at 7, yes, we're beginning the Christmas countdown for Christmas 2019, the first video for Christmas will be coming up at uh, uh, at uh, 7 o'clock, around there or thereabouts. Um, and we'll also be opening the Christmas shop at Gas Office as well, so uh, we'll be talking more about that at the start of the Christmas update. Right then, so we're going to start off with the uh, JMA 500 millibar height anomalies from the North Pole view down. So uh, this, of course, is the North Pole of the Arctic, just here. Middle latitudes of the uh, Northern Hemisphere are around there. Blue is extrapolated to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red, to above average heights, which is high pressure. These mean flow charts are broken down into weak peers. The first weak peer will take us from today through to the 8th. It's the first through to the 8th of uh, November. So in the week ahead, we've got an area of above average height sitting around Greenland and also in the middle of the Atlantic with below average heights over to the south of the UK. It looks unsettled and it looks cool as well. We're on the cold side of the jet stream there, digging the jet south with that trough of low pressure that's providing the energy for spells of rain. So cool and unsettled in the week ahead. Moving through to week two, which takes us from the 8th through to the 15th of November, we have below average heights out to the west uh, and the southwest of the country. Above average heights are up over green, up over Scandinavia, I should say, up to our northeast. Again, jet stream is digging southwards. We're very close to pulling in easterly winds uh, with this. Um, just a slight uh, readjustment between the high pressure to the northeast and the low pressure to the west-southwest would allow some east winds to come in. Still probably quite unsettled, even for southern and western parts of the country. And then into weeks three and four, taking us from the 15th to 29th of November, we have below average heights out to our west-southwest. Above average heights are there to the north-northeast. This looks like a bit of a battleground UK type situation. The uh, low pressure is trying to bring in westerlies and bands of rain from off the Atlantic. The high pressure up to the northeast trying to bring in easterly winds in between. There's probably going to be quite slow moving weather fronts. So that could actually turn into quite a wet scenario and of course if that uh, high pressure begins to take over to the northeast then colder air will dig in from the east and from the northeast too let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude view uh, next with the JMA so we can't see the Arctic and uh, the North Pole that's off the chart up here but of course we're just having a look at that view down we can't see Scandinavia either uh, we know that for the week ahead, from the 1st to the 8th of November, we've got below average heights over to the south of the country, a uh, ridge in the middle of the Atlantic, and some high pressure up towards Greenland, if you think Greenland would be around there, and of course Scandinavia then would be uh, around there. Uh, temperature anomalies in the week ahead through the first week of November, forecast to be slightly below average, actually. I think we are coming out just a little bit below average, particularly for Ireland, but other parts of the country... <coughs> excuse me, close to or just a little bit uh, below average there. Precipitation anomaly is much wetter than average in the weekend. This looks like a wet start to um, November. Wet and quite cool in the first week of the month. Week 2 uh, looks like this. It's the 8th to the 15th of November. Below average heights to the west and also to the southwest. We can't see Scandinavia, but we know there's a ridge sitting just there and also extending back towards Svalbard. Uh, low pressure with Jetson digging in uh, a little bit like that. Temperature anomalies in week two, taking us again from the uh, 8th to 15th of November, close to average. If anything, we might be just a little bit on the cooler side of average. It's not a particularly big deviation, though. Precipitation still looks a little bit unsettled. It's not as wet as it is in week one, but it is actually still ever so slightly uh, above average, I think, for most parts of the country. 
And then we're into weeks three and four, which takes us from the 15th to 29th of November. Below average heights again to our west. Above average heights, we can't see Scandinavia, but there's above average heights up there over Scandinavia and northeast parts of uh, Europe, and also extending in towards Valbard and the Arctic. Uh, rather light back. It looks like a proper battle taking place in weeks three and four to me. Temperature anomalies are close to possibly a little bit above average. And um, precipitation anomalies is again close to or a little bit above average in the north a little bit drier than average in the south does imply that the JMA may be seeing that high pressure taking over towards the northeast as we get into the second half of the month which would then bring a considerably colder than average temperature anomaly than the model is showing there uh, right, CFSV2 uh, next. Let's see how that compares with the JMA. So again, these are 500 millibar heights, and they're broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period takes us from the 1st to the 7th of November uh, this time. The coming week looks very unsettled. Below average heights over the UK. We've got uh, above average heights in the middle of the Atlantic, and also uh, just a little bit of northern blocking up over Greenland uh, as well. Perfect agreement, actually, for the first week of November between the JMA and the CFS V2. The jet seems doing something like that. So on the cool side of the jet, and we are looking unsettled at that deep trough of low pressure. Week uh, two is going to be the 8th to the 14th of November with below average heights coming in from the northwest, above average heights in the middle of the Atlantic. Jet stream is aligning northwest to southeast, so that looks unsettled and cool again uh, in week two. The first half of November could come out uh, colder than average. Week three shows a little bit of a change. It's the 15th to 21st of November. Low pressure then getting pushed off up towards Greenland and Iceland. Above average heights building sort of to our south, southwest, and also southeast. That would send the jet stream a bit further north Woods, would be drier for the south and also milder. That would be a mild uh, period for the third week of November. And then for week four, we go very unsettled again. This is 22nd, 28th of November. Below average heights coming back in from the Atlantic with the jet stream doing something like that. So that's a more unsettled scenario in uh, week four for the final full week of November, probably a bit cooler again as well as the jet stream is aligning sort of northwest to southeast from Greenland down to the UK. Temperature anomalies in uh, week one, which is the 1st of the 7th of November, close to, or probably for northern areas anyway, a little bit cooler than average. Week two also looks uh, cooler than average, actually colder than average. This is the 8th to the 14th of November, and we've got below average temperatures there. Uh, week three also hints at being a little bit below average. I thought that would be a mild a week, but actually the model is forecasting slightly below average temperatures in week three from the 15th to 21st of November. Finally, week four does go milder then. This is the 22nd, 28th of November. Eventually, the CFS manages to pull off some milder uh, weather. But it's not until the fourth week. And actually, this does look between the JMA and the CFS. To me, this looks like a rather cool November that's setting up. And then finally, we've got precipitation. So week one rainfall from the 1st to 7th of November. That is significantly wetter than average. Week two uh, is also average to slightly wetter than average. Week three, seeing is weakening now, but for the northwest anyway, from the 15th, 21st November, that one, still a bit wetter than average in the north and west, near normal elsewhere. And week four is wetter than average as well. So this looks like a very wet and cool November if the JMA and the CFS V2 models are right. That's the 22nd, 28th of November and that one is also coming out wetter than average. So this is a cool and wet November being forecast by both of these long range models. Read between the lines. I mean the JMA the deviations, the anomalies to average weren't particularly great but they look, the 500 millibar heights with the JMA look generally quite cool and sound. And a little bit of a suggestion of a battleground type scenario as well, with high pressure lurking up over Scandinavia through uh, much of the month. The um, CFS is just very unsettled and really quite cool as well. So I think we have to say cool and unsettled November coming up here, possibly with the chance of a couple of cold snaps thrown in, which could turn the month into uh, a rather chilly, but also very unsettled month. 
Uh, right, that's JMA Friday done for this week. Now, remember, it's just a snapshot of what the models show. It could all look very different next week. Um, so, just a snapshot of what the models are showing uh, this week. We're going to be back later on with your week's 10-day video update, including all rather regular features. We'll see whether Terry Scully is in agreement with JMA Friday. Terry's November forecast will be released probably around 5 o'clock, something like that. And then at 7, we begin the Christmas countdown for another year, as always, on the first day of November, we shall start the Christmas countdown for another year. Exciting times! Right, that's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.